welcome to episode one of the new NES series that I said I would be doing. Um, figured we'd start out with the classic black box games. Why not, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. This is what NES is all about. Uh, I love the cover art. Oh man, I just I feel like this really defines NES and what it is as a console and everything. So, how can you not love them? So, I have every single one of them laid out here. Minus, um... And we might do, an, we might do the Virtual Boy testing out game okay. video. Too. Minus Duck Hunt, because Duck Hunt, I do have CIB, but it's in my Rob the Robot box. And I did not feel like opening that big box and just to get that. So, the only one missing is Duck Hunt. But I do have it. This is... The Beast and Gizmo here to join us. Beast from Sandlot. Love it. And uh, Lil D wanted to add a little baby Jason. So, why not? There's a classic Mario. CIB, of course. So, anyways. Just want to go through these. Relatively quickly. Um, I added Rad Racer, Metroid... And Kid Icarus, I think that's how you pronounce it. Kid Icarus, Icarus, however you however you say it. Anyway, um, I, I consider those part of the black box. I think some people don't, but I do consider it. Um, so I added them anyway. We'll start with uh, the DK family. So you got Donkey Kong, which is of course an arcade classic. Well, it says it right there on the game actually. Arcade Classic, you got Donkey Kong Jr., which I actually don't like that game at all, to be honest with you. Donkey Kong Jr. Math, which um, it's actually kind of a rare game, a little more expensive, uh, kind of harder to get. Not too hard, though. And Donkey Kong 3. I'm going to be 100% honest with you, I'm not a huge fan of the Donkey Kong series. But, I mean, if, if I was playing it on an arcade cabinet, I would be. But just like playing on the NES, I don't. I don't enjoy it too much. You got, of course, baseball and soccer. And there you got tennis up there, too. Sorry for the light. Muscle. Little wrestling game. Volleyball. Surprisingly enough, this was one of my last ones to complete. NES in general. But especially for the black box games. Wild Gunman. These one. Oh. Got Balloon Fight, which I did not take it. There you go. Balloon Fight's pretty cool. I love the cover art on that one. Clue Clue Lane. Oh, this one's actually kind of rare, too. Um, more exp expensive, too. Stack Up. Again, sorry for that light right there. Kung Fu, which is actually a really good game. Pro Wrestling. Slalom? Why are they so hard to pronounce? Slalom? Slalom? I got that man! <laughs> Urban Champion. Popeye. Who doesn't love some Popeye, though? Gumshoe. Hogan's Alley. Classic. Mock Rider. Ice Climber. One of my personal favorites. Personal favorites right there. Of course, you got the OG Mario Bros. The OG one. The arcade one. Excite Bike. Classic. Gyromite. It goes with the uh, Rob the Robot. Golf. Who doesn't love golf? I actually prefer NES Open with Mario, but golf's good too. Ten Yard Fight. And Wrecking Crew. And Wrecking Crew is actually a really good game too. It's actually pretty fun. I have a fun, I have a fun little, uh, fun little fun fact. So there's a close-up on the Mario Bros. I do love that game. Absolutely love that game. It's right up there with little Samson. But, um, fun little fact. Um, so, a lot of these characters are, like, you know, okay, we'll use Wrecking Crew for a perfect example. Wrecking Crew. So, you know how that looks like Mario, right? Well, I guess it technically is Mario, but the reason why 
you know, you see Mario kind of occur in a lot of these and, and some of the NES games, but they don't like officially say Mario. Because when NES first started and Mario and all that stuff, um, you could just use them. Like, they they allow, you know, people to, developers to put them in their games and things like that. I mean, without, like, licensing issues or, you know, things like that. Because, I mean, at the time, it wasn't, you know, he's not wasn't as big as he, he was just first starting. So, he wasn't as big as he is now. But, um, so that's why he shows up in a lot of these games that aren't, like, called Mario. Like, Mario Wrecking Crew or anything like that. I use that one because that one's a really good example because, like, in the game, you can clearly tell that's Mario. I was trying to, trying to find another one here. Uh, another example, but... I just thought that was a fun little fact. Um, I know there's a couple more examples, but... Well, obviously, Donkey Kong. Um, but... Honestly, I do plan on getting... Maybe getting these all CIB. Be something fun to do later, but... For now, I'm not too worried about it. Just wanted to get them all, and I have all like the Mario CIB. So, but um, yeah, these are the classics. I'd say that if you're not going for like a full set of NES, I would say to go for you know at least go for this as like a subset because they're classics, and honestly, they're not too expensive. A couple of them are, but they're not really that bad to complete. And Metroid's a good game, too. So, this is episode one of the series. Intro to the NES series. And I will be covering most, if not all, of the NES library. But I want to start with this, because this is a uh, shout-out to Bomberman Sam. This is, like, his favorite thing about NES. And uh, definitely one of mine, too. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, because I'm going to do it again.